so i suggest you to follow this tutorial until the end so that you can easily understand and remember the concept of break continue and pass you might have not seen or understood this concept as easier as this particular video so continue till the end In this blog, we will try to see the concept of break, continue and pass in Python programming. So we will be seeing an easier way to understand these three keywords. So if you are new to this channel, I suggest you to go through my previous tutorials to understand this particular tutorial because I will be using those concepts in this particular tutorial now. So let us consider a for loop here. I am going to consider range. So I am specifying 0 to 9. In our previous tutorials, I have explained you what is a for loop and how we can use and also I have specified a tutorial for range in the description section below. You may go through that if you are having any queries in this concept. Whenever the iteration reach to 4 here, so let us consider i double equal to 4 and I want to break the loop here. So now try to print i here and observe the output once. Here you can see we have got 0 to 8 printed because we have provided a range from 0 to 9 here. So now let's try to see the usage of break keyword here. I am going to specify an if condition i double equal to 4 here and so when the iteration reaches the stage of i double equal to 4 I want to break the loop here and also let us try to provide a print here. So using this print statement we will be printing it as break so that you can see the same in the console here. So here you can see after it printed 3 onto the console we can see break. So we have used the keyword break and it has stopped the loop and came out of the loop here. This is the main usage of the break keyword whenever you are trying to make use of the break keyword the loop which is currently in execution will stop and get out of the loop which avoids the execution of further iterations available in that particular loop. When you try to use continue here, what will happen is like, it will just stop that particular iteration. So when i double equal to 4 here, you can see 3 is printed and 5 is printed, but only the 4 is been skipped here. So we can easily get to know that continue will skip that particular iteration and move forward to the loop. Whereas the break condition will stop the loop at that particular iteration. So now we have seen break and continue. And now let us try to see pass. So what does pass do? So when the iteration reaches to the 4 here, the pass condition will do nothing but just skip that particular iteration. It acts like a placeholder. So it does nothing when the iteration reaches 4 neither stops the loop or it neither skip that particular iteration it just does nothing and it just it acts like a placeholder so now let us try to run this and see here and we have got three printed and you can notice this we have also got four printed onto the screen and our loop is now completely printed so our range of values from 0 to 9 is completely printed onto the console and here you can see pass is also being printed between 3 and 4 here so you can get to know that pass does nothing here but just it acts as a placeholder. So whenever you have an if and else condition and in if condition then you can just make use of this pass over there so that we can just place a placeholder. So yes I think you understood the concept of break continue and pass in an easier way possible. So yes this is it for this tutorial and I hope you understand this concept and if you are having any queries do let me know in the comment section below and if you like this tutorial do like share and subscribe to our channel for more interesting content on python.